And coming up in this next video, we're going to be looking into should black people get reparations? Were they enslaved? What makes them feel they need to be paid out? Do the white people own the black people money for being enslaved in terms of reparations? And just before we go into this video, if this is your first time or you're seeing me for the very first time, don't forget to smash the red button. Remember, turn on the notification bell too so that you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads. My returning subscribers, I always appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank you so much. And so let's go straight into this video about reparations. You ask a good question for somebody that's never heard of the concept of debt, but I bet if your parents died and you inherit their house, you would understand that if they still had a mortgage on that house, you would owe that bank money. The bank wouldn't just say, you know what? The people that borrowed this money are no longer here. So here, you take the deed to the house, it's yours. That's not how it works. You pay the bank now. Otherwise, the bank will take the house and America is that house. You and I have the great fortune of living in the wealthiest nation in the world. Whether you love America or not, we have a lot of advantages being in America. And that is due in large part to the unpaid labor of enslaved people. And their ancestors, people who are alive today, hold that deed and are still owed that debt. One last thing, we already have paid reparations. America paid reparations after slavery was abolished to the former owners of slaves to compensate them for their lost property. So we have demonstrated an ability to pay reparations. Now it is time, long overdue, to pay reparations to the right people. Exactly. America already paid reparations to the rightful enslaved people. And these existing or these people that are alive today, I don't think they owe, they own, the, the white people own them any money in terms of reparations. They were not enslaved. Why should they be paid reparations for what? It doesn't make any sense. I really hate this topic, but black people seem to think that they're getting reparations. <laughs> Check this shit out. This isn't about race. This isn't about police brutality. This is about what is owed to us, black Americans. Owed? <laughs> The only thing you're owed is the paycheck that you're working for. Other than that, nobody owes you shit. White people are not paying for reparations, man. Y'all gotta get that shit through your head. You know what's really fucked up? These people are fucking serious. <laughs> they really want that 40 acres and a mule, man. Oh, there's more, there's more. Reparation, what would it look like for you as an individual for you? Well, uh, it would look like to me cash payments. We need that check. We need that money. We've been waiting for way too long now. And so this is about money. Take your ass to work. Black people living today are not owed by anybody for what happened 400 years ago. You crazy as hell. You think these white people are going to pay this shit. <laughs> exactly. That was crazy, crazy, crazy. It can never happen. White people can never pay the reparations. The only person who's gonna pay you in and you need to be paid you're gonna pay it in terms of a check you gotta take your legs out and go and work and receive your payment but the white people can never pay you reparations you are not enslaved and just forget about it white people will never pay any reparations it's not gonna work it's always pay your debts until the topic of reparations comes up have we reached such a privileged point in our society that we have to look into history in order to find things to fix rather than fixing problems that are right in front of us. The reason nobody talks about the debts of reparations is because the people who owe the debts are not alive. Now y'all don't want to say it, y'all don't want to say it, but I'll say it because whatever. I'm white, right? But guess what? I don't owe you anything. I never owned anyone. I don't owe you anything. And nobody will say it, but I don't. Nobody is responsible for the crimes of their ancestors. If that's the case, then every single one of us would owe every single one of us something. Because throughout history, every single person, regardless of skin color, has been owned. Bingo. Let me remind you that we live in America. We literally have opportunities here that people are dying for. Does that mean that we shouldn't focus on bettering the system? No, that's not what I'm saying, because I don't even try to go there. But if you're a black American and you're living in America and you're focused on getting black people reparations, you've missed it. 
the boat is gone and you've missed it. All the opportunities there, we do not need reparation. Well, we're owed it, you know, the, the 50 acres and a mule. What you're talking about is Field Order 15 by General Sherman during the Civil War. And that was in like the southeast part of the country. A bunch of people want to talk about this as if for one, the government actually did it, meaning Congress. No, it was a wartime order. Second off, it wasn't for all black people. The government does not owe us and white people do not owe us. The government does not owe us. White people do not owe us. The vast majority of white people were not even slaveholders. You have every opportunity here to go build the life you want to build. Stop letting people tell you you don't have the opportunity. You do. And stop wanting people that never had anything to do with something to pay you for something they never did. Exactly. Well said there. The white people don't own the black people any money. They don't owe them anything in terms of money and in terms of cash. You better take your legs out and go and work and get paid. There's so many opportunities, especially in America. These black people, the mentality they've got that each and every time they always think about reparations. They think just because the black people are enslaved, they need to be paid back. No, 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 that is, it's not going to happen. It's going to not happen. The people who are enslaved are long gone. Most of them are long gone. They're deceased. The living people, the living black people, still claiming they need to be paid by the white people in terms of reparations. No way. They gotta take your their legs out, go and work, get paid. I 100% agree that the United States owes the black community reparations, and this is why. It's not about white people owing black people. It's not about white people being punished for the sins of our ancestors. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's about white people standing in solidarity with a community that has suffered grave egregious injustices at the hands of the United States government. But first we must decenter ourselves in this conversation, alienate ourselves from our privilege, and hold the United States institutions and systems accountable for the wrongs that they never rectified. From slavery, to black codes, to convict leasing, to Jim Crow segregation, to anti-black housing policies, to mass incarceration, we have never rectified our wrongs as a country. If you look at our criminal justice system, one in three black males carry a convicted felon label. That is a real stat. Is it because they're inherently evil or they just need more personal accountability? Or is there something larger at play? All the data shows by every statistical measure, the black community has been disproportionately impacted by every institution or system in the United States, from education to healthcare to criminal justice system to banking to housing, which we still have de jour segregation in effect today. And when it comes to housing, neither parties are absolved from this because both parties were responsible for the de jour segregation that we see today. The New Deal by Franklin Roosevelt didn't invent the segregationist practice of housing, but it did institutionalize it. Restricting access to capital for black families while enriching white families, the big reason why we see the generational wealth gap we see today. And remember, public housing wasn't initially for poor people, it was for working class white families. But because of laws and policies implemented by the United States government, it reinforced segregation because public housing was to reflect the racial composition of the existing neighborhood. We had redlining and gentrification of neighborhoods, the residual effects of all these policies that we still see today. Reparations is about rebuilding and investing in the black community. Our government was held accountable to some extent for the grave injustices that we committed, the atrocities that we committed against Native Americans. We were also held accountable for the Japanese internment camps. But the United States government never made good on its 40 acres and a mule to the black community. Everybody else got paid. The United States was held accountable for these injustices. I'm a convicted felon. I had to pay a debt to society, to the United States government, to the state of Florida for the crimes that I committed. I was held accountable. To this day, my past is still being used against me. In fact, if I were to go before a judge today, the first thing he would do is bring up my past and say it's probably a pretty good indicator of what my future will be. 
But we don't keep that same energy for our government. We don't hold them to the same level of accountability and to the same level of scrutiny. So if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know anybody, you're absolutely right. But our government does. And as citizens of the United States who uphold the Constitution, it is our duty, it is our responsibility to hold our government accountable. As taxpayers, as citizens of the United States, we all pay, not just white people. Anytime there's an injustice in the United States by a government agency, whether it's the police department, sheriff's department, any government agency, the taxpayers are always the ones that foot the bill. Why? Because in America, we believe in justice, or at least we say we do. No matter what side of the aisle you're on, I'm sure we can all agree that our government is corrupt. Stop allowing them to make us turn on each other. What better way to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters than to advocate to make right what has been wrong and never been rectified? People ask me all the time, what are my solutions to the problems that I speak on? Well, I can assure you that this would be a step in the right direction. This is the pathway forward. Reparations in America today. Well said there. I Just the way he told us, the white community doesn't owe the black community any reparations in terms of money. It's supposed to be the white people standing in solidarity with the white people. It's solidarity with the black community. They need to work together as a team, but they don't owe any money, any reparations to the black community. There we go, guys. Do you think the white people or the white community or the black community any reparations it's just because they were enslaved? My opinion, according to my opinion, I don't think the white community or the black people any money or any reparations. The people who are enslaved are no longer living. Most of them are diseased. And these live people, the black live people who are existing right now, they are still asking for reparation. They are still asking for the white people to pay them in terms of reparations. Yet they are not the ones who are enslaved. The mentality of the black people have got in their heads. Instead of going out, there are a lot of opportunities. They better go out, grab those opportunities and get paid. Instead of keeping on depending on the, about reparations, about being paid by the white people, it won't work and it doesn't work at all. So good, thank you so much. Let me know your take on this in the comment section. And catch me up next for another reaction. Bye-bye.